We're in Greensboro, North Carolina at the Greensboro Coliseum where today ESPN presents college basketball. It's another showdown in the SOCON as the Furman Paladins are in town to take on the UNCG Spartans. And a pleasant good afternoon, everyone. Brock Bowling, Matt Doherty with you. And Matt, second time in three nights, these two teams will face off. Furman won on Monday night, led by the Paladin point guard, Alex Hunter. Alex Hunter had 19 points in a variety of ways. Backdoor cuts, drives, left hand finish high off the glass. And if you go behind, he'll make you pay from three. On the other side, you have Isaiah Miller, preseason SOCON Player of the Year had a few highlight plays like this drive to the paint, but not enough. Here's an alley-oop, shows his athleticism. Only seven of 18 from the field, zero threes, zero free throws, and only one assist. The Spartans need more from their leader tonight to have the chance to beat the Paladins. Furman in purple and UNCG in the home white. Opening tap, and here we go. The Furman Paladins, record of 12 and 6 overall, 6 and 3 in the SOCON, and fourth place in the conference. As they go inside to the freshman Garrett Heen, and he scores the game's first two. So, Muhammad Abdul Salam makes his first free throw. He's from Nigeria, 6'9 junior, had three points, four rebounds of the loss at Furman back on Monday night. Goes one of two at the stripe, but an offensive rebound by UNCG. Hunter inside Miller, lays it in. Back in Greensboro, 16 minutes exactly to go in the first half. It's UNCG six and Furman two. And we're happy to be on site here at the Greensboro Coliseum. Brock Bowling, Matt Doherty with you. And Matt, it was a dog fight uh, for Furman in that first game early on. And then they beat UNCG handily by 19. We expect a closer game today. And so far, it's been feisty. It has been feisty. There's great energy on the part of UNCG. They're very alert. They're very active. They've got to clean up the shot selection and make sure they don't get beat on the back doors. But so far, so good. I think Wes has to be pleased with the energy and effort of his team. UNCG's got to find a way to get the ball to the paint. Furman's last six possessions, 0 for 3 from the floor, four turnovers. There's a three that goes in for Jalen Pugh. He is shooting 52% from downtown this year. Matt, it's the second time in three nights these two teams are playing each other. You coached in the ACC, you coached in the Big East. Can you imagine playing the same team twice in a span of three days? No, but you know what? I like it. I like it because... It just brings an energy energy and a storyline that you don't get otherwise. I think it brings a whole new meaning to this game. Now, coaches don't like that and schedules don't like it because if somebody's a significant player's hurt, he misses both games. Slauson, tough fadeaway, banks it in, counted and one. He'll head to the line for a free throw. Here's Hunter. He's been a little quiet so far in this game. Had a great game on Monday night against UNCG. He had 19 points, six rebounds, and five assists. Slauson stopped on the double, skips it over, mounts, high arcing, three! I agree. Off the mark, rebound skied four offensively by Isaiah Miller. Shot clock will reset to 20. Inside Allegri, he can't hit the bounce. Rebound by Mounts for Furman. Here's Pugh, hit a three a moment ago, so did Mounts, and he knocks in another three. Wow, that spun nice off his hand, really nice. And, you know, guys are going out to contest with their hands low. you got to go with your hands high on a guy like that. Miller responds with a two of his own. That's his second basket, his six-point UNCG with a slow start Monday night. Uh, much better start this time. What are your thoughts on the Spartans so far tonight? Well, it's a, it's, a, it's a better start, but they're down. They're down five points. I just don't like the shots they're taking, and I think they get a little reckless on, the, on, uh, on defense. Miller from the foul line, got it. Bounce in rhythm, a three. Rebound ripped away by Miller. Isaiah Miller, Matt, he had the hat trick last year. He had the awards for first team, all SOCON, the SOCON player of the year, and the SOCON defensive player of the year as well, as he goes down the lane and lays it in for two. Well, that's why NBA scouts are looking at him. Can he be a third string point guard? He needs to develop his shot and probably his decision making.
Here's Miller. He has 10 of the team's 15 points. Tries to slice his way down the lane. Nifty move and puts it in. Back in Greensboro, Brock Bowling, Matt Doherty with you. And Matt, it's been a good game so far for Isaiah Miller, but he can't do it all by himself. He needs help. Isaiah's working his tail off, but he needs teammates to make shots, especially from the perimeter. A lot of standing around. Wes Miller yelled to the team on a recent possession, move, move, move. You've got to move your man. You've got to move the ball. Gurley, open three, and down it goes. And it goes back to UNCG. Shot clock turned off. 17.8 to go in the half, and a chance to hold for the last shot. My guess here is Isaiah Miller will get the ball with eight seconds to go. And then I like to go with eight, because then you get the shot off at five or three, and you get a chance for a tip. Langley, a three. Got it! And he's fouled! Oh my and he'll goodness. go to the line for a potential four-point play with four seconds to go. And UNCG up by eight. So UNCG's lead was nine at the break. It's at seven right now. And Langley hits another three. His second three of the game. He has eight points. They credit Mounts with the tip in. Give him 19 points for the game to lead. Furman. Shot clock inside of 10. Here's Allegri. Spinning. Goes to the offhand and he scores. The turnovers and the points in the paint. That's really hurt from 24 to 12 points in the paint. You in favor of UNCG. And a lot that a lot of that's off of dribble penetration. Turnover on Furman, number 16, up the floor. Miller hammers it home. <laughs> I think he gave a little little point to the cameraman on the baseline. Here's Allegri. Back into Miller's hands. Leading the team with 20 points so far tonight. Goes inside again and lays it in.